Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you Gini. It's an editor. I have a project in C++ and it has CMake, etc. I'm going to debug it with GDB using Gini. Let me show you. First thing first, I'm going to install Gini and Gini logins. Also, we can open the terminal here and make this unit space. I'm going to clone Gini 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 As you can see, here color schemes I need that. So I'm going to remove all the other things and let me cut it here. Also, I'm going to remove this. And let me show you first what. How does it look like without schemes? Here, Tools Plugin Manager. I'm going to insert some plugins. Debugger. I'm gonna remove this one. As you can see, here is a CPP file, and currently we have two schemes, and I want a dark theme. So what I'm going to do here is to navigate to my user directory and I'm going to press Ctrl and H and here config genie color schemes so I'm going to let me delete this so I'm going to copy all of the all of this and paste them here and I'm going to close this Let's close that and close this. Let's also close this and open it again. And now I have a lot of color schemes. So I'm going to choose this one. And that's good. So let's debug our program. As you can see, I have CMake lists. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set build commands and here it's make so as you see build this build directory here and for building I'm going to type make dash c build for executable I'm going to type the executable path. The executable file name is going to be factory and OK. And here we have a terminal. 
it is background is black we can change it from preferences editor display no terminal background and let's choose this one apply as you can see change i didn't like it i'm going to change it again to this one apply yes that's more good and also you can change the settings from here okay and let me try to build it Comp first let's try to compile yes and uh, we succeeded and as you can see and let me try to build it and it built as well here are executable try to run it and it is running and so I am going to debug and we are going to choose our executable in build factory open and let's place a breakpoint to here and let me try to uh, of course it won't uh, build I need to a certain option here here I'm going to insert dash d for option c make build type is equal to debug okay let me compile it again and compilation done let me build it again as you can see and let me try to debug it again and now we can debug it we can step into this and as you can see we go to the this file and let me go there this is the base class and go and step out step over and etc our terminal here the output in call stick watch autos and etc they are here also what we can do instead of writing cmake here where was it writing here we can copy this and we can go to go to here and let's move it from sh and let me refresh it and here you can see so what I'm going to do is where was it What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here and you can change the name configure for debug configure for release and it doesn't matter let's change modes let's set executable also let me start here and I right configure yes it's working so all I need to do is come here and that's it now when I try to compile so I give the full path actually And now when I click compile, as you can see it successfully compiles it. That's it. Thanks for watching.